Hi YouTubers, welcome to Hungry Persians uh, YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be doing another car review for you guys and uh, on today's menu we have a 2018 BMW i3. Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick 360 around. I've opened up all the doors too. Um, the back seats do fold down to give you a little bit more cargo space, uh, which is quite nice in this small car. Um, the doors do open from the, you know, apart from each other. That's something different. Um, you can see you do have uh, two back seats. Um, you got a little bit of foot room actually in there. Um, it is car seat friendly. <laughs> and these back doors do, or sorry, back seats, they do fold down to give you more trunk space. Um, I do love the seats in the front. Um, you have the blue accent lines. Um, quite comfortable seats for this car. Um, and I'll give you a closer look at the interior. You have a heads up display here. Here we've opened up the front hood of the BMW i3. Um, it does have the plug-in cables as long as, um, and a small storage compartment that you could place other small items into. Um, you get about 130 miles um, per charge, and it does have the um, small motor engine um, that can increase the mileage range by about 60 miles, um, giving you just under 190 miles per gas and full charge. Alrighty, we are about to take the car for a quick spin. Um, I did just want to say that this car is weighing at a curb weight at about 2,900 to 3,300 pounds. Um, I think it depends on if you get the extended battery life or um, that's probably what um, contributes to the weight fluctuation. Um, this is the i3, the regular model has about 170 horsepower and the i3S has an extended 10 horsepower at 180 um, horsepower. And uh, this does do zero to 60 in about um, low to mid six seconds. Um, and it is a rear wheel drive um, drivetrain, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, and here is a point of view of the odometer uh, and the center console screen. Um, I did want to mention you could see uh, right over here. Um, it does give you how many miles you have left, left on the gasoline motor. Um, I believe it's a 2.3 liter gasoline reserve. Um, it is a single speed transmission. Um, for the interior, you do have your controls in the middle dashboard. Um, the center console screen is not a touch screen, um, but you do have your navigation ball right over here. Um, and it also does have different driving modes, um, Eco Pro and Comfort, I see here. Um, you have two center cup holders, as well as your console here where you can adjust your uh, radio settings, uh, connect your phone via Bluetooth. Um, it looks like you have the main um, air conditioning settings and everything here. All right, and here we do have the function of your uh, seat heaters over here on both sides. And uh, this car does have a starting MSRP of low 40,000s. And uh, right now um, it does have a decent amount of depreciation. Um, you can pick up a 2018 with fairly low miles in the low $20,000 range. Here, we're just gonna do a quick test on the turning radius. Um, I have a pretty tight space right now and I'm gonna do a U-turn. And the electric motor is so quiet and it is so smooth. Wow, it didn't even turn the wheel all the way in order to complete that U-turn. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn out to the street and do a, a quick zero to 60 acceleration. It's got neat sounding uh, turn signal indicators. Alrighty, and here we go, turning out into the street. And we're at 60. Wow. It's a pretty quick, zippy car uh, for, you know, an electric motor giving you that instantaneous torque um, out coupled with the light weight um, of the car. It actually moves pretty quick. And it does have some pretty thin tires though, but it feels like it's on rails. Pretty responsive steering. 
and let's go ahead and switch into different drive modes. Uh, right now we're in comfort. do feel a significant amount of engine braking when you take your foot off the gas pedal. That's definitely noticeable too. Brakes are very strong in this model. Um, don't know if it has four disc brakes all around. I'll go ahead and check that and put a display on the video. looks like the total modes are Comfort Eco Pro Plus, um, as well as a regular Eco Pro. All right, I'll pop a quick U-turn and uh, give it another quick speed test. Doing a U-turn. And we're off. It's on comfort mode. Well, that concludes my review of the 2018 BMW i3. Thank you so much for watching and following along. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and share this video. And if there's anything else I can include in my future car review videos, uh, please put that in the comment section below. Um, also, this video was sponsored um, by Odyssey Headphones. I'll put their company website in the description of this video. They have very high quality headphones uh, varying in different price ranges. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, bye-bye.